One of the most common data cleanup queries is where numbers are in Excel, but for whatever reason they're not appearing as numbers. So for example, we've got this little report here, and you'll see here where the totals are. There's a whole bunch of what looks like numbers, but you'll see they're not exactly acting always like numbers. So sometimes we've got commas, now is that a thousand separator or is that a decimal? So we need to know is Excel seeing it correctly as the value we are expecting. So if we go and put it into Power Query. So the first question is how do we know if Excel actually sees numbers? The first clue you'll get is by default when Power Query enters something if it can guess it, it changes the top. So you'll see here, by default, the student number, you'll see over here it says 1, 2, 3. That's because it's decided this data type looks like a whole number. Now, ironically, this one is actually the one that we wouldn't mind if it didn't notice it as a number. Because this is a student number, we actually don't mind if we rather convert it to text. Tuition fees, again, you can see it seems to be showing that it's a number. It is coming through as a whole number. Perhaps you want a decimal number. Let's see if we can change it to that. I'll click on it. We're going to just, what it said is it's made a change. Are you sure you want to replace it? I'm going to say yes, replace the current. And it seems to allow it. You can see that 1.2. Same with accommodation, same with extras. Then you'll notice this one, which is also meant to be numbers, for some reason has got ABC123. And that's the type any. Now that doesn't mean that Excel hasn't noticed it, but in order to check if these are numbers in Excel and Power Query seeing the numbers, we can just change this. So there's many ways. You can either go to home, change the data type here, maybe to a decimal number, or you can right click on the column and you'll see there's an option to change type. And again, you've got all the options, or you can just click on that button there and it gives you the various options. So what we're going to say is please change all of these, they're decimal numbers. And what's good about Power Query is it leaves you no doubt about whether it can or can't see numbers. So you'll see here, all these numbers were fine, but here it's saying we've got an error message. So let's just get rid of this change type and see what they were. So you can see that these, which are very obviously numbers, are not working for some reason. When I went and I said make it a decimal number, it said there are errors there. So we're gonna have to go through the variety of ways to try and force Power Query to see these as numbers.